All right, so on the top half of page 159, you see the W-2 for Melissa B. Anderson. And I have created an electronic copy of that, which is what I have right here. It's the W-2 that she's gotten back from A&W Welding Supply. So we're gonna walk through this as an example so that you know how to do the one for Michael Anderson, which is the one that you're actually doing for your assignment. The first thing with the 1040 EZ that you need to do is fill out the personal information. And all the personal information for Melissa B. Anderson can be found right around here in this region. Um, we are going to take her name and we are going to start typing it in. So where it says your first name and initial on the form 1040 EZ, go ahead and type in Melissa B. Anderson. And then type in her, I'm sorry, scratch that. Melissa B goes in the first box. The next box is Anderson. Her social security number can be found right here. We are going to type that in, 411-86-3214. Does everybody see where I found that? Look in box D up on her W-2 on the top half of your paper. Got it? Yeah. Allison, are you good? Yeah. Okay. Then now we need to type in her address. So for home address, I'm going to be getting it right here where it says 312 East 34th Street. The city is Chicago, State, Illinois, zip 60604. All right. Now, that concludes her personal information. And for the income section in box one, it says wages, salaries, and tips. This should be found in box one on your form W 2. So we're going to look over at the W 2, and what's the number that it says in box one? Twelve thousand eight hundred and eleven forty. So put that on line one, twelve thousand eight hundred and eleven and then forty cents. And you'll notice how it's divided. On the left side of the line you put the dollars and on the right side you put the cents. Do you all see that? Okay. We are not going to worry about interest. We would have to have a form from her bank to show what interest earnings she had. And we don't, so um, put zero for that. We're going to assume that she was not unemployed, so we're going to put zero for that as well. And then on line four, it says adjusted gross income, and that's just adding up lines one, two, and three again. So it's just going to be the same number, twelve thousand eight hundred and eleven and forty cents. And then on line five. It says, if someone can claim you or your spouse, if it's a joint return as a dependent, check the applicable boxes. We're going to assume that she is not claimed by anyone, so we're going to go ahead and go down to the line that says, if no one can claim you, enter 9,750 if single. So go ahead and enter that number on line 5. And this is going to reduce her taxable income, so she's not going to have to pay money on quite as much, not going to have to pay tax on quite as much. So then on line six, so are you guys good so far? On line six, it says subtract line five from line four. So what do you get whenever we subtract those things? You should get something like 3,061.40. Does that sound right? 3,061.40. Okay. Now, on line 7, it says federal income tax withheld from Form W-2 and 1099. So we are going to look back at the W-2, and this is going to come from Box 2, where it says federal income tax withheld. What is that number? 611, okay? So plug that in for line 7. 
611 that comes from box number two on the W-2. We are not going to have an earned income credit, nor are we going to have the non-taxable combat pay. So for line nine, whenever we're adding those three numbers up, it's just going to be the same number, 611 again. All right, now, all right, now we are on line 10. This says tax. Use the amount on line six above to find your tax in the tax table in the instructions. All right, so let's look at line six. That amount, 3,061.40. That's the amount that we have to pay taxes on. So now comes the trickier part where we have to read these confusing tax tables. So remember that number, 3,061.40. We're going to take that number and we are going to look it up in the other tab that you all have open, which is the 1040 Easy Instruction Booklet. Did you all get to that? All right, just from doing this lots of times, I know that the information that we need is on page 31. So if you want to just type in 31, and hit enter, it'll jump down to the page that we need. And what was that number again? That we need to look up? 3,061.40. Okay, so we're going to look over at the 3,000 section, because that's where that number is going to fall. And it's a little bit confusing. We need to look at the range 3,050 to 3,100 because that's where that number would fall. There's a column for single, there's a column for married. Melissa is single, so we are going to use the number that you find in the single column. What is that number? 308. So take that number and type that into line 10. That is what she should have paid this year for taxes. She actually has paid 611. So are we going to get a refund or are we going to owe more money? Get a refund of the difference of those two numbers. And what is the difference? 303 dollars. Okay? And that is Melissa's refund. So that is exactly how you're going to do the one for Michael Anderson on the bottom of page 159.